All right, we are going to take a look at how to edit a gallery um, and add images onto our CMS Made Simple website. Uh, it's very simple to do this. A couple assumptions I'm making here as we do this tutorial video is that you've already installed the gallery add-on module for CMS Made Simple and also that you've logged into your site. So we're going to go ahead and get started here. Now, to edit a gallery, it's very, very simple. The gallery is located under the Content tab, right here where it says Gallery. Whenever I click on that, I'm going to click on this first gallery here. We're only working with one. You can have multiple different galleries and sub-galleries. We're going to show you one to give you the overview of, and the kind of the basics of how this module works. So we click on gallery here, and when we do that, we've already created one uh, that we're using for this particular website. This is fawnhavendoodles.com. Uh, this particular lady sells golden doodles and labradoodles and what she's using the gallery for is to be able to show available puppies uh, to people and, and kind of give people an overview of puppies that they can adopt as a pet and so that's what the gallery is being used for. So we've actually went ahead and titled it already and put the little comment here. Now this gallery title is what shows up right here in bold and then your comment right here is what shows up directly underneath it. And if you notice, we've got zero images in this particular gallery, and so we're going to go ahead and add some images so this page is complete. The third little box here, the template, is really uh, what is used to how to display the picture after a user actually clicks on the um, particular image on the website. You can kind of mess around with that and see what you like best. It's just kind of different layout, different feels. We're going to use different feels. We're going to use uh, Slimbox or this one. It really doesn't matter which one you use as long as you like it for your particular site and the feel that you're going for. So to add an image or multiple images to, these, to this gallery is very simple. All we're going to do is simply click on this button where it says add images and we're going to have a pop a dialog box pop up here. Now I'm on a window, I'm sorry, I'm on a Mac or an Apple machine. Um, a lot of you guys are probably using Windows machines. Basically, we're doing the same thing here. It might look a little bit different, though. Um, what we're doing is we have to find the actual images that are saved on our computer hard drive. So, for example, I've already put all of mine um, in a folder on the desktop of my computer called Available Puppies. Just a better organization for me. You need to find wherever your images are saved um, for on your particular machine, which will vary for, for each different person. So I want to upload this whole folder. Now I can upload these one at a time if there's only one picture that I want to add out of this particular, uh, this particular folder. Or I can upload all of them at the same time, which is what I'm going to do. If I click on the very top one here, if I want to upload all of these, if I go to the bottom one and I hold the shift key down, and this works for a Windows or a Mac machine, and then uh, click, click, on the, click the very last file, it's going to highlight all of them. And then on, on this particular machine, I click open. Your wording might be a little bit different. We're going to click open, and you see down here at the bottom where it says it's uploading. And then as it uploads each particular picture, it's going to uh, show us that it's complete like there. And then after it's done uploading these 11 files in this particular example, it's going to say all files received, which will happen here in a second. All images received, excuse me. And that's going to refresh our page and say the gallery was successfully updated, which is great. That means all of our images, as we can tell right here, have been put inside our gallery. And that reflects directly on the website as soon as that happens. So I'm going to refresh my page here to show you that. And notice how we got 11 images now. So now a user can click on it, make it bigger. They can also click Next to see the next image or the previous image. It's a great, great tool. One th other thing that we're going to edit here is right now our little caption is showing the actual file name of the picture and that doesn't look real professional in my opinion so we're going to change that. Now again for this particular uh, gallery we're using this to show available puppies that are for sale. So we're going to make this caption the name of the puppy and then also how much the puppy costs. So we go back into our gallery in our, uh, our CMS Made Simple backend. And if you notice in the gallery, we've got all, all of our 11 images that are being displayed right here. If I click on these where it's, this where it says title, that is where I can change the actual uh, caption that shows at the bottom. So we don't see that big long file name. We'll see whatever we want to say. So we're going to say that this is the puppy's name is Jill, and Jill goes for $1,000. And this puppy is Sally, and she goes for twelve whoops $1,200. Now I can go on through down uh, all the pictures, but I think you kind of understand the point. Now these won't update until I click the Save button. So if you just type those in and then refresh your page to, uh, uh, hoping to see something, you're not going to. You have to hit the Save button. 
So we click Save. It's going to tell us again the gallery was successfully updated, which is great. Go back to our web page. We refresh the page. You always got to refresh anytime you make uh, changes. Now we're not make. We're, once we click on the actual image, we're going to see our caption has been updated. This is Jill. She's a thousand dollars. Go our next one. This is Sally. She's twelve hundred dollars. Now let's say that uh, for whatever reason, S Sally gets sold. So she needs to be out of our gallery. Or for whatever reason, you want to take a picture out of your gallery. All, there's a couple different ways you can do this. You can uh, hit the trash can and delete it. It's going to come up with a pop-up box. You sure you want to do this? We click OK. Sally will be gone. Notice we don't see Sally anymore. So that picture won't be in there. We click here, refresh our page, and notice how we have 10 images and Sally's not in there. We can also, if we wanted for whatever reason, delete all of these, click this box right here, and that's going to check all of our images. And then with selected, we can hit delete. There's also some other options. We can make the pictures inactive or active, etc. If I was to click apply, all those images would be erased. Now we already had put the uh, gallery in a page. If you don't know how to do that, it's really pretty simple. I'm going to go ahead and save this gallery. So I'm going to go back to the main part of uh, our module. CMS works off of tags, so if you want to put this, any page that you want to actually put this on, we, we showed you an example that we already had put this tag in here to put it on this page. All you need to do, this was our main gallery that we were just working with, it was just labeled gallery. If you copied this, this little uh, tag here, I just copied it to my clipboard, let's say I go to my pages, any pages I want to put this in, for example we have available puppies, that's what we wanted to put it in, we would simply paste that, which is already there, paste that into the content area and that's what allows it to show up inside of here just in case you were wondering how to actually get that gallery onto a certain page you can add it into a template if you're actually working with templates uh, I know some of you guys are just working with content if you are doing templates you can add that same tag anywhere inside of this specific template uh, or whatever is suiting your needs so that is an overview on how to use the gallery how to add images and how to delete images if you have any further questions, you're welcome to shoot me an email at tony at productionsmedia.net. We appreciate you looking at this tutorial, and we hope that you have found it useful.